Hi, I'm Declan Clark from Raytech. We're here tonight to highlight some of the lessons learned from the Raytech and Axis Test Nights Explored series that have run for the last 12 to 18 months. Hi, I'm Darren Lang from Axis Communications. And during the test nights, we showcased how network video and lighting technology can complement each other to deliver greener, more energy efficient video surveillance solutions. All cameras need supplementary lighting when used in low light environments. But of course we have the challenge of delivering systems that are as energy efficient as possible. Now many manufacturers have tried different techniques over the years to enable cameras to work in lower light conditions. Features such as frame integration and gain control. And they all work to some degree but all have significant trade-offs when we're looking at image quality. Thanks to Axis Communications Light Finder technology, we're now able to deliver high quality HDTV images in exceptionally low light scenarios, but without image degradation. This, of course, now reduces the amount of time that lights have to be engaged within a system, greatly reducing the overall running costs, and of course, making the system greener overall. The demonstration we're just looking at now is the new Vario infrared illuminators. These are ideal for covert, long distance surveillance. Uh, the Vario has got some unique advantages, some of which include interchangeable lensing. So basically one product will cover every angle and this is done easily on site. You also have a remote control with that as well. So you can make adjustments such as change the power level, change photo cell sensitivity and advanced adjustments as well, all from ground level. So there's no need for a ladder. There's no need for a cherry picker. Very easy to do so. Next, we have the LED status indicator, which allows you easy maintenance from ground level. So easy maintenance, easy commissioning without the need again for a ladder. You also have the hotspot reduction technology. So this uses a special holographic diffuser, which creates an elliptical beam pattern. So it gets extra light on scene where you need it. So you get more power, more distance, and you also get nice even spread of illumination. So in this section we're going to be taking a look at how thermal technology can have a positive impact on the energy efficiency of the solutions that we deploy. So if we take a look at the environment that we have here, then we can see the challenges are quite obvious. We have little or no light, we have environmental considerations such as the rain, mist, uh, possibly fog. So if we wanting to protect this site and to detect intruders, potential intruders, and of course identify them throughout the hours of darkness. If we were to do that with conventional terms using optical cameras, we would have to supplement that with a lot of light. So energy consumption would be quite high in that scenario. So the beauty of utilizing thermal technology is that it requires no lighting to work. It's purely looking for heat sources. So the lighting only triggers and switches on when the thermal camera detects that a potential intruder has entered. The trigger zone. It vastly reduces the amount of power consumption over the cost of the year. This of course has a positive impact in cost reduction for the total ownership costs of, for the system but of course has a major benefit in terms of uh, the environmental impact that the solution has. When utilising megapixel technology, there are some clear green benefits involved with this, one of them being camera reduction. A two megapixel camera will give you the same coverage as four standard definition cameras. However, there are some challenges involved when using megapixel, especially in low light conditions. Megapixel cameras require more supplementary lighting to achieve the same image clarity as standard definition cameras. This really highlights the importance of our partnership with Raytech. Working together closely as technology partners, we can harmonise both technologies in order to deliver Megapixel in an environmentally friendly and cost-effective manner. As Sharon mentioned, using Megapixel cameras can keep the camera count down. Similarly, we can do the same with lighting. Here we are showcasing Raytech's new panoramic lighting range, available in both infrared and white light, that delivers unrivaled 180 degree and beyond illumination. Like Vario, panoramic units feature hotspot reduction technology, directing the light where it is most needed to not only deliver longer illumination distances and minimize light waste, but also to provide full scene coverage without hotspots caused by overexposure.
Raytex panoramic range also features the unique adaptive illumination feature available on many of Raytex product ranges. The unique bracket allows to extend the three-paneled illuminator to spread out, delivering more light in the dark areas of the picture. Next is a simple demonstration to show the impact that switching to white light LED can have on both energy savings and cost savings. First, we'll be looking at a 70 watt sodium fitting. As you can see, once the unit is in operation, there's a very, very slow start. So it takes a long time to warm up to its full capacity. Now, once this unit has warmed up, you'll see it has a dull orange glow. This is not a good colour for colour rendition and it doesn't give you a good CCTV image. Typically, sodium lights will last for around two to two and a half years. Next, we have a 400 watt halogen fitting. It does have a quicker startup time than the sodium that we've just seen. However, it has poor colour rendition. You'll see it has a, still has a very yellow glow to it. So for CCTV images, this isn't ideal. This type of fitting typically will last around 12 months. It's very energy inefficient and as a result gets very hot. And finally, we have a Raytech Raylux 100 fitting. Firstly, as you can see, it provides crisp, clear illumination, which is perfect for colour rendition. It runs as low as 40 watts. It's very quick to power up. It has a 10 year plus lifetime and you also get much better directional use with LEDs over other lighting technologies, which means it's targeted where it's needed.